Hey everybody, it's your girl Lucky Jen and I am back from Florida Hunt 8. Now I know some of you were probably worried that a gator got me, but no, it just took a little while to get back home and get through all the footage so I could bring you a great video. Now, if you've never been to one of these shows, I'm gonna tell you, it was a great chance to make new friends, catch up with old friends, and in my case, I got to meet a bunch of my subscribers, which was like the coolest thing ever, and it totally made my day. So if you were there at the show um, and came up and talked to me and let me know you're a subscriber, thanks so much. Um, if you couldn't make this show, hopefully I'll see you at another show. Um, I also wanted to take just a second to do a special shout out to another YouTube channel. Um, if you guys have never checked out the YouTube channel Finding Alabama, that is Mr. Jeremy Mann, and I would encourage you to bounce over there, check him out, and show him some love. He is a super guy. Um, I had the privilege of hunting with him over the weekend. Um, he showed me lots of tips and tricks, and I'm going to tell you guys, he is a wealth of technical knowledge when it comes to metal detecting. So definitely go over there and uh, see, check him out, see what you think. Now, with all that said, without any further ado, I give you Florida Hunt 8. Hey you guys, it's Lucky Jen. I have made it to Florida Hunt 8, and tonight is the meet and greet. I just wanted to show you guys, check it out. There are so many people. There's a live band just getting started. So we're gonna have some fun tonight, and then I'll be back with you tomorrow for the hunt. Take care. All right, guys. We are rolling in for Florida Hunt 8. This is what the entry looks like, just so y'all get to check it out. Good deal. All right, you guys, it's Lucky Jen. I am here at the first day of Florida Hunt 8. We are trekking across the property, headed to a location. Check out this awesome Spanish moss and these huge live oak trees. So, really cool. Um, excited to get started. Okay, y'all, I'm on to my uh, first target here of the day at Florida Hunt 8, and this is ringing up a 21. And we are gonna see what we got. And y'all, it is a 22. So first target of the day for Florida Hunt 8. I'll see you on the next. All right. I am digging. We about to see. You know I got to dig this big old hole to find it. Oh, that's right. I forgot you got to get a backhoe. Oh, that's Well, y'all, I, I see something big and uh, metal looking here. Let's see what we got. Well, I don't quite know what it is. Um, but it was big, like I said. So, some kind of old piece of metal not quite sure but uh, I think we're on to maybe a old home site here and see what else we can find okay you guys I am on to a new target here um, this was ringing up like a 57 pre steady so I'm kind of optimistic maybe it'll be a musket ball or something really cool <laughs> I believe it's gonna be a bullet slug. Put this where y'all can can see. I'm gonna go consult with the other fellas who are out here hunting with me and just make sure that's what it is. Um, we have already found some cool relics, some of the other people. So 
uh, I'll check with them on this and then I'll be back with you for the next target. Okay guys, I'm gonna just real quick let you hear what I'm hearing. So that's a 70, not moving at all, that we're about to do. Let's see what we got. I was able to get this on the, the pin corner, so hopefully it's not gonna be a super deep target here. smokes you guys it actually may be a coin here I think it's either gonna be a, a penny or a dime so let me uh, grab my loop here and try to tell it's pretty dirty looks like I think it is gonna be a, a Lincoln I can't tell too much about it, so I'll have to clean this off a little bit later. I'm gonna hold it up and maybe you guys can see, but uh, I'll clean that up later and we'll see what we've got. Well guys, I just wanted to follow up with you. Um, that coin I found, I've sat here and I've kept working on it. And um, you guys, it's a, a wheat scent. I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. I'm gonna try to hold it up. And um, the date is pretty hard to make out, but I think it says 1940. So that was not really something I expected to find out here in the middle of the woods, but that was a pretty cool find. Just a quick look at one of the remote, super thick areas that I was hunting in today here at uh, Florida Hunt 8. Good morning everybody it is day two of the florida hunt eight um, i am here super early today and back behind me is one of the fields i'm going to set across um, to reach a destination where hopefully there's an old home site um, but it's really early there's only a few detectorists here so far this morning um, i think everybody is wore out from yesterday and getting a slow start but we're getting an early start so we can go see if we can find something cool. So you guys stay tuned and I'll be back with you once we're on site and doing some digging. All right guys, this one's been a bit of a challenge. It's a deep target, but I think I've almost gotten to it. Uh oh. I like all metal. Okay. Is this my, oh. Here it is. Uh, Not too sure, just some kind of a, I don't know, maybe something off a farm implement, I don't know. It feels like it's probably aluminum. So anyway, that was our first big target of the day. Check out these beauties who've decided to come out and help us metal detect. They got spirit. Aren't they beautiful? They are coming to see what all this beeping is. Look how beautiful these guys are. Well, that's a extra um, added feature to our hunt today, but they're beautiful and they're curious what we're doing. 
All right, you guys, I am deep out in the woods hunting at uh, Florida Hunt 8 on day two. I just had to show you these amazing, huge old trees out here. And these things are just enormous. This also give you a little bit of a idea of kind of what we're trekking through out here on the hunt. But um, check out this huge old oak tree out in the woods. One of these huge old live oaks. It might actually be one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. That's like one branch going back to it. This tree in the middle of the woods is just absolutely majestic, y'all. Look at what a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, my friends, this is the wrap up video for Florida Hunt 8. Um, just showing you guys what I found while I was there. So um, we'll start over here. These are the items that I found on day one. Um, a lot of these I didn't necessarily get on film, so I'll kind of go through and talk about them. Of course, I had a couple of shotgun head stamps. Um, this item, uh, the best guess from people in the the group I was hunting with, the other relic hunters, um, was that this was a saddle tack. So if you guys have a different guess or opinion on that, by all means, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, of course, we did get on an old home site, so I had some old um, tacks and nails. This one was kind of interesting. It's a pretty long one, um, and you can actually see that there's lettering on it, if my camera will focus here. Um, and I believe it says Deckland, as best I can tell. So, anyway, had that. Um, of course, you guys saw I found the wheat scent, um, and I still think that the date on it is 1940. Um, I'll flip that over to you so you can just kind of see. Maybe if we get the light right, you'll be able to see the. There we go. The one scent on it. Um, but anyway, it's in pretty rough shape. It hasn't. Um, cleaned up very well and then also I did have a dime um, 1985 on that one and then this right here was a very interesting find you guys saw me dig this um, there were quite a few relic hunters there nobody was quite sure about this one um, and I'll show it here next to one of these 22 shell casings you can see um, it's pretty close and so I had someone who loves firearms look at it and do a little research and I believe that this is from, uh, it's called a Lee's Navy bullet. Um, and if that's correct, these were um, only manufactured for a couple of years around 1897 uh, because they were found to be uh, somewhat, I don't want to say defective, but they didn't work very good from what I read. There's a Wikipedia on it. So um, anyway, if, if anybody has a different idea as to what that is, you're welcome to comment. Um, that was just from the research, the very best guess. You can see it's quite long and quite thin. So, okay, anyway, day two um, didn't film very much. Um, had another shotgun head stamp, some bullets, um, found one more penny, um, I believe it's 1981. And then, so the excitement of the day, um, I found this, and at first I was so excited because I thought maybe it was like a really damaged um, musket ball, but then I found two more pretty close, and this is what they looked like, so not a musket ball, I don't think. But um, anyway, definitely um, lots of bullets out that way and a fun hunt. Um, there were a couple cool old home sites and there were a few really cool finds. Um, Jeremy Mann found a great skeleton key. Um, I believe somebody else found maybe a bayonet um, and a British penny was found, I know. So anyway, um, it was a great um, experience going there. Got to meet lots of new people and talk with a lot of people that, 
you know, I've talked to a million times on the internet, but never met in person, finally got to meet in person. So again, if you ever have a chance to go to one of these shows, they're a lot of fun and I would recommend it. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. And if you want to check out the channel a little further, I'm going to link some other videos here at the end. Until the next time, you guys take care and the best of luck. Check out this beautiful bird, y'all. He probably just needs a hug. I don't know. I thought we'd be closer, but now I'm glad we're not. Cause that's a big boy right that's there. That's a big boy right there.